here in the city of London today, just outside the Royal Bank of Scotland headquarters, commonly known as the Oil Bank of Scotland. Why? Because it's investing in dirty energy products around the world. The worst thing, of course, is it's been bailed out with tens of billions of pounds of taxpayers' money, in effect making it my bank as well as yours. So we're here today to tell them and the government to stop spending our money on dirty fuel. The reason that we're here today is because RBS is complicit in financing the Alberta tar sands, which has been deemed the world's most destructive project on the planet. It is killing native communities, it is destroying the fragile ecosystems in northern Alberta, Canada, and it is completely unconventional oil that's creating three to four to five times the emissions as conventional oil. What are the tar sands? They're the world's largest and most destructive industrial projects. When I say tar sands, you say shut down. Tar sands! Shut down! Tar sands. Shut down! Woo! What's so bad about RBS? Um, well, the reason that they're different from other banks is they have a separate oil and gas division. They also have a separate aviation division, um, which funds projects. The aviation division obviously funds airport expansion, but the oil and gas division uh, gets involved in, in funding gas and oil pipelines mainly, and other projects. There's not currently a single gas pipeline in the world that hasn't had some money from RBS or Nat West, which is the same thing. Um, they've even invested in places like Chad, where there's been a civil war for nearly 20 years. The World Bank wouldn't touch with a barge pole because of that. Since RBS put some funding into that project, the World Bank has got on board and they're now investing in it as well. So it leads even people like the World Bank to invest where they previously didn't fear to trade. RBS are in there funding that project. Question is where is Sir Fred Goodwin, the man who brought this bank to his knees? Sir Fred, stop hiding in your villa in the south of France. We know you can't get a job and we know you've dropped the sir, so you're just Fred Goodwin. But you can't hide from us. Wherever you go, we will find you, Sir Fred. You wrecked this bank and now you won't take responsibility. So let's say something for Fred. Fred, where are 